both the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi are great tools for hobbyists to create complex and amazing projects. In this video, we're going to explore the strengths and the weaknesses of each platform and I'll help you decide which one is best for your use case. Let's start with the Arduino before we cover the Raspberry Pi. Now the Arduino's biggest selling point is how simple it is to get going. It's incredibly simple to use and all you need is a USB cable and your Arduino code to get started. Furthermore, you can write and upload your code to the Arduino via the Arduino IDE environment. The environment uses a language that's based on the ever popular C and C++ languages. The next big advantage for Arduino is a huge number of libraries available for the platform. There's a library available for virtually every electronics or external peripheral that can be connected to the Arduino. A library, for those who don't know, helps handle all the complicated coding, timing, and integration of your external peripheral to your Arduino board. Recently, a libraries manager has also been added to the Arduino IDE environment that allows you to download libraries straight from the Arduino IDE app rather than having to go online to search for your libraries. The third huge advantage to the Arduino platform is its open source nature. Because it's open source, third party manufacturers can create much cheaper alternatives and clones of the Arduino boards. These clones or alternatives function the exact same as in Arduino and lower the barrier to entry. Furthermore, being open source allows manufacturers to create shields or expansion boards that can expand the functionality of an Arduino. Now let's cover the Raspberry Pi before we talk about some of the downsides of the Arduino. The biggest advantage of the Raspberry Pi is its processing power. The Raspberry Pi is a full computer that runs Linux in a similar footprint to your Arduino boards. This opens up the Raspberry Pi to handling a host of complicated tasks such as image recognition, IoT and managing multiple different devices. Since the Raspberry Pi is a full computer, you can run desktop applications on the Raspberry Pi. Plus, because it's a full computer, you can program the Raspberry Pi from the Raspberry Pi itself and in fact you can also program the Arduino from the Raspberry Pi. The USB ports in addition to its regular GPIO ports allows you to connect USB based peripherals as well. The Raspberry Pi is also incredibly affordable and can be bought for around $35 with older models being discounted to lower prices. Just like the Arduino has multiple shields, the Raspberry Pi also has multiple expansion boards called capes. These capes help expand the functionality of the Raspberry Pi making it very easy to integrate into your projects. Now, considering its power, the Raspberry Pi might feel like a clear victor over the Arduino, but the Raspberry Pi also has its drawbacks. Now because the Raspberry Pi is a full computer, Interfacing with it requires that you use an external monitor, a USB keyboard, a mouse, and even a pretty powerful USB power supply. Now, using an alternative such as SSH eliminates some of these concerns, but it's still an additional step and might be a little bit confusing for beginners. Next, since Raspberry Pi is a full computer, it also requires a full operating system to be installed to it. Now, installing the operating system is actually very simple, but it's still an additional step and can be daunting to beginners, especially compared to the plug and play nature of the Arduino. Another huge disadvantage to the Raspberry Pi is in its GPIO. The Raspberry Pi's GPIO runs on a 3.3 volt logic, which is fine, but it doesn't have a built in analog to digital converter. That means if you want to connect any analog electronics or analog sensors into your Raspberry Pi, you need to use an external analog to digital converter. Next, the Raspberry Pi only has one or two hardware PWM pins, which is far fewer than your average Arduino board. Furthermore, because of the vast number of expansion shields available for the Arduino, you can actually gain back some of the Raspberry Pi's functionality on the Arduino, such as Wi-Fi, Ethernet, or even SD card storage. At the end of the day, the biggest difference between the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi is in their ease of use. The Arduino is a very simple plug and play solution, while the Raspberry Pi requires a few steps to get it functional. You need to install the operating system, you need to install your libraries via command line, and you even potentially might need to write scripts to ensure that your code runs automatically when you boot it up. There's no denying it, the Raspberry Pi is much more powerful than your Arduino. But if you're creating a simple project, it's cheaper and more convenient to just stick to an Arduino board. Now if you're doing complex calculations such as image processing, required desktop applications, USB peripheral support, and even high resolution display output, then the Raspberry Pi is a better solution for you since the Arduino cannot handle these tasks. Now as we end this video, if neither of these platforms are appropriate for your needs, you can look at some alternatives. For the Raspberry Pi, you have alternatives such as the Beagle Bone or the Banana Pi, and for the Arduino, you have alternatives such as Adafruit's microcontroller systems or even the ESP8266, for example. 
These boards help make up for some of the downsides of the Arduino and the Raspberry Pi, but they're also less popular and therefore are less recognized. And that's it for this video. If you like this video, you can find other tutorials that I've made on my channel. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comment section below. And if you want to watch more tutorials like this, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.